Hello everybody, this is Brian with bsntech.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do some configuration for your e-commerce system website that we set up for you here at BS and Tech Networks. First of all, I wanted to show you a generalized screen. Uh, there's not a lot on here. You can simply see that there's categories and then there's the PayPal logo and the Virtumart logo down here. We use Virtumart for our e-commerce systems. It's fairly simple and easy to use and it's easy for our customers to understand how to set up their website. Now of course your site will look different than what this overall design looks like. This is just our design of our site so yours will of course be different. But here we have our home and then test store and then test store is the link that just simply has this. Now once we set up the configuration nothing much will change on here but the configuration is what sets where your payments go to, what your name is for the e-commerce website, your address, your phone number, things like that. So first of all, of course, you need to log in to your administrative login, which is provided to you by an email that we send it to you with. And when you log in, you should simply have something that looks like this. You'll log in and you'll have all these options available and some menus across the top. Now to get in and change your virtue my mark excuse me, your virtue mark configuration, hover over the components menu and go down to virtue mark. Now when your screen loads, it'll look something like this. You have several different options here, products, categories, orders, payments, vendors, users, configuration, edit store, and help. Now what we want to do in this video is do the configuration. So you can either click configuration here or under admin choose configuration. Now when this screen loads you will see all the options available for your configuration. If you want to take your site or your uh, e-commerce portion of your site offline make sure you check this box and then you can put an offline message in here. This is handy if you're doing any kind of maintenance or if you want to go through and do massive scale changes on your products, uh, your prices, things like that. Continuing on down, uh, there are some front end features. If you want to allow people to use coupons on your site, make sure this is checked. You actually have to go through and set up the coupons separately. Uh, here's your coupons right here, so you have, would have to go through and set up what coupon code you'd want people to use, as well as what kind of discount or money off that uh, that overall order. Uh, do you want people to uh, review and rate products? If you do, check this box. This will allow users to then write comments or place a one to five star rating on a product or more products on your website. Auto publish reviews. By default, this is turned off. If uh, you want people to be able to put a review on automatically, then just check this box. Generally, it is uh, recommended that you do not have this on because if you do, and somebody's leaving spam like comments or uh, curse words or anything like that, then those would automatically be seen on your site. So typically, you want to leave this off so that that way you can approve those before they're added to your site. And then, of course, there's your comment length, uh, the minimum allowed, and the maximum. Over here on this side, show prices. Do you want to show the price of your item? In most cases, yes, you do. So ensure that's selected. And uh, member group to show prices too. Public front end is by default, which means anybody and everybody that goes to your site will see the prices of your items. Show including XX percent tax when applicable. We usually always have this turned off because otherwise uh, those individuals that may not be subject to tax such as those that are out of your state they're going to see that and it's really not required and, and it may drive them away if they think they're going to have to pay taxes. Uh, usually virtual tax again you want to check this off by default that is on but you'll want to turn that off as well and their tax mode is based on vendor address what that really means is when the customer puts in their shipping address, if uh, they are within the same state as you, then they will be subject to the tax for your state income tax. And that, and that way you can get that from them. 
enable multiple tax rights if you have more than one tax rate. Uh, you know, if, if you had one for California, one for Indiana, uh, anything like that, that's, that's where you can set those up. Okay, let's come up here and hit the security tab now. Now on this page, um, we do not actually have a secure SSL certificate on our servers that BS and Tech Networks provides for hosting. Um, it's very hard to configure it to have multiple people to set this up. So if you need to have a secure website, uh, that means you're going to be actually processing your own payments and things like that on your site, then you would need another provider. Um, but generally, if you're going to use PayPal for all of your processing for payments, you do not need to have a security certificate. And there again, you save 50 or $60 a year since you do not need that. So we generally don't do anything with this if you have hosting with us. Again, this says generally prevent HTTPS connections. Of course, that will be checked. Uh, store credit card information. Uh, you do not want that if you're going to just be using PayPal as your processor. So we'll uncheck that. Uh, really, all this stuff down here, you can just leave alone. Now let's click on the Site tab. And from here, this just gives other generalized settings. Now there's a PDF button, a show the recommended to a friend link, show print view. Uh, all these settings basically will change how your site looks. Up in the corner, in the right hand corner of your site, I'll show you here. Generally when you have products loaded, you will have icons up here. One of them may be a PDF button, an email looking icon to send it to a friend, uh, things like that. But uh, they're not showing up right now since we don't have anything loaded. But if you do not want those buttons to appear, then you can uncheck the PDF. If you don't want them to be able to recommend it to a friend, you can uncheck that. And if you don't want them to be able to hit the print view and make a printing page where they can easily just hit the print button and then print out that page, then uncheck that as well. Show navigation at the top of the product listing. Whenever you are looking at a product across the top, it will say next product, previous product and it will show the name. If you don't want anything like that and you just want it to be more concise so that the customers are only seeing that specific product page, then uncheck this as well. Now there is a drop down box that will allow the customers or your visitors to sort by. Uh, and you can sort by a product name, by price, by the latest products that you've added. These are all default and Typically, we keep those selected. We may just unselect latest products, uh, since in a lot of cases, people put things on their site and they don't change them fairly often. Now, show the footer. I'm going to go ahead and unselect this, and then I'm going to hit Apply. So that way, we can actually see what that does. Now, if I come back over here to the test store and refresh, watch this logo down here. It will disappear. That is the footer. And now that it's gone, that's what, sh that's what shutting off that footer does. Over here, there's some additional configuration. Uh, there's a theme. If you click on this, then you can change the overall theme. You want a feed. This is an RSS feed where individuals can actually subscribe to a feed that shows your products. And if more products are loaded, then they would get a notification on that. Uh, show the Add to Cart button on the product list. On a, on a listing page where it lists all your products, you can either just set it so that they can see a picture and a description, or you can also have the Add to Cart button so they don't actually have to click on that product to see the, uh, the Add to Cart button. That way they can just click and boom, it's in their cart. All this is generalized stuff here. Um, when somebody actually clicks the Add to Cart button, it will come up in a pop-up box and says product has been added to your cart. And it will either give them the option to continue or go to their cart. That is caused by this right here. Use Ajax to add, update, or delete products from the cart. If you turn that to No, then when they click the Add to Cart button, it will take them directly to their shopping cart every time. So there's some generalized options in here. Um, we always usually leave those as is. Okay, so let's move on to the shipping here. This is where you can indicate what kinds of shipping you're going to use. Um, Australia, of course, most cases you're never going to use that. DHL, FedEx, UPS, Flex Shipping, Standard Shipping, all these are what they call modules that will allow you to change the shipping for your products. We generally always use the standard shipping module. Then we can go in and set the amount of shipping per weight 
So if you're if you actually give your products weight, then you can set the individual prices for the weight. Going to the checkout, we don't usually change anything in here. All that's left the same. And then the downloads menu. Are you going to be selling downloadable items on your website? Are you going to be selling ebooks or images or anything like that? If so, you need to make sure that you enable downloads here. Otherwise, if you don't, then when somebody pays, they're not going to get a link to download their product that they just paid for. So that's what this downloads page is for. Uh, make sure you enable that if you are going to be doing things like that. And uh, this here, order status, which enables the download. Once the payment is confirmed, they will then be able to download it. Of course, you don't want to do pending or canceled or refund or anything like that because they may get the product before they even pay for it. Uh, this will disable the download. If they cancel the order, then it will ensure that they are not allowed to go in and do anything. And lastly is feed configuration. We usually always shut this off, uh, but some individuals would prefer that it would be on. Again, this goes back to the other RSS feed thing that we were just describing. Um, if you want people to be able to subscribe to your website uh, through an RSS feed, they would then be notified if you add products to your site and that's what this enable product feed does. We, again, like, like I said, we typically always turn that off, so I'm going to do so in this case. And then after you've made all your configuration changes, you just simply hit save. Now, those are, that is the uh, general configuration for your VirtuMart e-commerce site that BS and Tech Networks creates for you. Uh, go ahead and watch some of our other videos, and we can describe some of the other things that are going on. So again, this is Brian with BSNTech.com, and thanks again for watching.